Welcome to the Sarusajai Sports Complex located in the Karambi Nobin Chandra Bordola Indro Stadium. 38 countries, 192 boxers, 67 Asian competitors and it all boils down to the final 20 who will give it all to get gold. The Indian girls have excelled in the marquee age group event which is being held for the first time in the country. And of course here now we start with uh, Neetu who is uh, going to <laughs> take on Urbayewa yeah. and uh, Jazeera beat uh, Ireland's Friars, uh, Catlin. That's the big match that we are looking forward to. First up, it's an Indian participation. Introducing our boxers for the light flyweight category. In the red corner, representing India, Neetu! In walks Neetu. She has looked wonderful so far in this entire championship. She has a strong left straight. She also comes up with that occasional burst of punches. Watch out for that. And what has worked for her is the bouts that has come from the right straights as well. She is fresh from a gold in Bulgaria at the Balkan Youth International Boxing Championship. A gold in the All India Sai Tournament. She's been backed by a large crowd turning up at the Sarusajai Sports Complex. And ladies and gentlemen, in the blue corner, representing Kazakhstan, Zazira Urukbayeva. So here she comes, Jazira uh, Urukbayeva, one of the three Kazakhstan girls in the final. In the semi-final, she outpointed Kathleen Friars uh, of uh, Ireland, 4-1. She beat her 4-1. Uh, very clear decision and she is a mean competitor, uh, Jazeera Urbakaeva. Uh, Kazakhstan boxers have done very well. There are three of them in the final. Uh, of course, there's uh, one each also from uh, Vietnam, Korea, Italy and the United States of America. And the referee, Julia Boteva, she sets the proceedings going from Bulgaria. In the red corner, representing India, Nito. In the blue corner, representing Kazakhstan, Zazira Rukbayeva. And Julia Boteva, the Bulgarian referee, giving last-minute instructions. Go to your respective corners and the bout will begin. Nitu from Bivani, Haryana to start India's gold hunt, medal hunt. Out of the five, how many gold, how many silver? Mikhail. Too early to predict anything right now. Just need to watch how Nitu begins as her opponent is equal at the task and she did really well. There goes Nitu landing with a jab. Very nice intent as shown by her first up. Back by a boisterous crowd right now. She gets the right hook as well. She's moving faster. She's known for that and this time she goes for Once again she finds that left punch. She's getting in a left punch but not always connecting. Uh, being a 45 to 48 kilogram category, women's light fly. It's a fast paced bout. Both boxers landing a flurry of punches. Nitu has started aggressively. In fact, a lovely right jab. Once Jazeera. again, on target this time, she's getting her right straights and her left straights as well on target. Neetu is making it count. She's taking control of this round number one. Yes, in the semi-final, she started tentatively against Yuan Ni. Today, she started on an exhilarating pace with uh, just a minute to go, uh, gone in the three-round bout. Uh, three rounds of three minutes each. And it's been blitzkrieg by Neetu in the first minute. Moving well there, Neetu. Very tentative now. Just waiting for that opening. Once again, keeping a high guy. She goes for all her punches. This time she goes for the straight punches there again. Relentless boxing day by Neetu. Yes, an excellent system by which they've come up. And what uh, Rafael has been saying, that not only good footwork and technique, he's made them girls with big hearts. They don't get overawed by the occasion. And that is really shown over here as Jazeera is taking a pummeling. 
a standing no that's the use of the elbow so Neetu is being warned it would have been a standing count, but it's the use of the elbow. Now, Jazeera trying to make a comeback. She had a very tentative start. Uh, uh, Urak Baeva of Kazakhstan. Neetu swinging in punches. She's realized that attack is the best form of defense. She's looking for the midriff region as well. Yes. Neetu is playing a very calculated game. Oh, there she goes to the midriff and tries to look for the punch on the nose. Uh, that's right. And the Indian bench, Preeti Dabas, Rafael, all, uh, Bhaskar Dat, all... Uh, belching out instructions uh, but Jazeera has really been sort of overawed by the occasion she's tentative hesitant this is not the Jazeera we saw exactly uh, uh, against Catlin Friars in the semi-final is she making a comeback in the last 20 seconds of round one but she's been clearly caught off guard by Neetu's initial burst of punches flurry of punches pushing her to the corner and now Neetu maintaining distance again going for the jab straight jab you see probably they rehearsed it that in the semi-final, Neetu started slowly. So it was clever thinking by Rafael. He made Neetu come back, come out in full cry. Another so, left straight coming in. At the bell. I'll yeah. tell you, Novi, Neetu has kick-started this final bout with some planning. And uh, I reckon this round number one, she'll go back sitting, thinking she's done well, but a lot of hard work still left. Uh, yes, we'll see in the highlights. It's been Neetu all the way. She started with a flourish, blistering attacks. Uh, Jazeera all at sea, pegged to the ropes, uncertain. Uh, left jabs, uh, leading with the right, then retaliating with left to the midriff, to the stomach. She's picking up points at will, which will be in favor of the five judges. Uh, Neetu's quick footwork, great heart, not overawed. I think that's what Rafael has changed. Now, the Indian girls don't get overawed by famous competitors, whether from Russia or Kazakhstan. A view of the vast audience which have gathered here. Uh, Rafael, as always, putting on the gum shield, patting his competitors. He has transformed, course, these, yes. Yes, transformed these girls. Round two, Neetu. Once again, we'll be looking to keep that same intensity, looking for the hooks and also keeping a watch on those jabs. Avoiding well, moving back well. This time she gets a right hook from the Kazakh opponent, Urak Bayeva. Once again, Urak Bayewa coming with those punches. Yes, a better start to the second uh, second round by Jazeera. Uh, Urak Bayewa of Kazakhstan. She's ducking now, keeping a distance from Neetu, not allowing Neetu to come in. Lot of Neetu's punches are landing on the gloves. You have to get points, you have to land the punches on the face or on the stomach. Jazeera having a much better second round. In fact, Neetu is a bit tentative over here. I think Jazeera has worked out a strategy, keeping her distance. Neetu trying to close in, but not getting in. Looking for a left jab. She's got Jazeera in a corner. There goes the left straight. There goes the left straight. Once again, quick in the hands. Neetu is just changing her game and catching her opponent off guard there. Once again, Urak Bayeva tried for the uppercut. Could not really find it. Seizing advantage there, Neetu. Yes, taking the advantage, the girl from Bhiwani who uh, got a gold medal in the Balkan Youth International Boxing Championship at uh, Bulgaria uh, this year and has come up very well and Neetu, whose father sacrificed a lot, three years, he gave up his job, the Chandigarh Vidhan Sabha employee to enable his daughter become an international class boxer so we have uh, about 75 seconds left for the end of the second round, Neetu I think well ahead on points. Novi, let's also compliment Neetu so far for her defence she has moved well. She's avoided those straight punches as well. And once again, a clinch over there. Again, she looks... Just been warned. Uh, yes, her defense has been good. So far, it's been an impeccable performance by Neetu. And uh, not allowing Jazeera to come back uh, in, the ma in the bout, the Uzbekistan girl. Now, Jazeera once connecting a bit. Once again, ducking over there. Remember, yes. Neetu has a very good left straight, Novi. And uh, she also comes up with that occasional flurry of bursts that we've seen. She moves better towards the second and third round. She moves faster as well. All these things working in her favor. Uh, yeah, she started very well. She's ducking well, avoiding the punches now. Over here showing good defense, though keeping a low guard. Uh, feigning, attempting to hit with the left and right. And going quickly That's on the That's relentless counter. punching there. Relentless counter punching by Neetu. She has come back really hard. Talk about the flurry of punches coming in. Neetu once again shows a glimpse of that. But the problem is that some of the punches are being called illegal. So in her excitement, 
you have to get a straight glove and not the side of the hand. But Nitu having a very good bout so far, even ending the second round. She's kept Jazeera at bay, but Jazeera has come back into the bout. And there at the bell, uh, the second round, much more even second round. And uh, here's Rafael Priti Dabas, uh, the um, physiotherapist giving her water, the Kazakh girl also being talked to, uh, uh, Jazeera Urakbaeva. As we see some of the highlights, uh, Nitu coming out fighting. When she's pegged back, she doesn't get ultra defensive. I mean, Jazeera started with a whirlwind start, but Nitu comes out fighting. This is a quick hand speed, which is making a lot of difference and pushes back Jazeera. Novi Urugbayeva started off really well. She also landed quite a few good punches. A much better round, this one. First, she may have been caught off guard, but this time she... But towards the end, I just get the impression, once again, as you mentioned, the side of the gloves coming in for... Uh, yeah, that's Gurbak Singh Me Sandhu too. sitting there, the former national coach. All the experts are there. The packed crowd. Rafael, as always, giving his girls great energy, heart, and these last-minute tips. The decisive three minutes, 180 seconds, round three. Who will get the gold medal, India or Kazakhstan? Can need to clinch India's first gold in this championship. All eyes on our next three minutes will decide the fate. Urakbayev has come back hard in the second round. Once again going for the punch there. A straight left that we keep talking about. Again she gets that right jab. There she goes. Yeah, she ducked very well as it was a right hook by Jazeera. Uh, the judges have to decide now which of these flurry of blows are connecting. Because this is to the side of the head, it won't count. They get into a clinch. Attempted left. Circling each other, looking for an opening. Because the blows mustn't land on the gloves of the opponent. It has to land on the midriff. Just keep a look of that, uh, that left, at that left straight and that left cross that keeps coming in. Yeah, that is making That's a been difference. giving her all the points, I must tell you, Novi. Yeah, there she, she goes again. Leading with her left, but this she got caught in a counter. A left jab by Jazeera, who's had a much better third round. So it is closing in, but I think Nitu's whirlwind start could get her the favour from the five judges. Uh, there she goes again with that left, trying to go for the midriff, relentless punching that we talk. Yes, the five judges from Al Algeria, Italy, Cuba, Austria and Once Puerto again, Rico. they! Nitu is turning it on, coach excited. Rafael Bergameskus is very excited over there. Well, we are halfway through the third round and now it's at a very decisive stage. Now, what does Nitu do now? Once again, that left straight, trying to get for the hook. Pushing and pinning her opponent towards the corner of the court. This time she gets a straight jab. Nice one by Urugbayeva. Yes, Nitu, one of the four Haryana girls in the final. The fifth one is from Assam. The Boro girl, Ankushita Boro. Now in the last minute of this bout. The crowd getting behind Nitu right now. Chanting India, India. The last 50 seconds left on the clock and she gets a straight left once again. She's turning it on here. Yes, it is now. Uh, I think Jazeera knows that she has to come into counter-attacks. Nitu cleverly clinching, but the referee very firm. Julia Boteva separating them, asking them to box on, come to the center of the ring. Again, they get into a clinch. Swinging left, does connect. That left jab has got a lot of points. Now Jazeera, but Nitu cleverly circling her. Not allowing her a range to unleash her punches. Bobbing that and making, weaving really well yes. over here, Nitu. She's, yes. They both are tired, yes. But they're giving it the all. They both are very tired because they started on a whirlwind start in the first round. It's the last 10 seconds. Who will end strongly? They get into a wrestling hold. But Nitu comes out. And there goes the bell for the third round. The Indian camp very confident that they have clinched it. Rafael went fists up. And so are the Indian fans, Novi. Even the dignitaries sitting behind us are sounding and looking very upbeat as well. But it all boils down to the judges. But I must tell you, this has been a brave brawl by this young girl from Haryana, Neetu. Yes, she from a conservative family, it was her father who really got her into boxing and who gave up his job. She was coached by Jagdish Singh, who helped Vijinder win the Beijing Olympic bronze medal. Can Neetu go on to emulate it at Tokyo? Now we await the result.
Ladies and gentlemen, the winner with points by a unanimous decision in the red corner, representing India. A big moment in Indian boxing. Meetu wins by unanimous points decision. It's a one-way show from her and look at the crowd is on their feet. And I must tell you, boxing has kick-started a revolution. And we can only say one thing, this is only the beginning. What a win, what a bout, as she's been carried and hugged by a coach, Rafael Bardemeskas, who needs to be also appreciated and applauded for the effort he's put in. Yes, absolutely, uh, Mikhail. And it is India's first gold medal since the 2011 IBA Women's Youth World Championship.